I love watching the deer. I actually love all wildlife. And who needs a game camera when I have Simply Safe? Now I'll catch all their shenanigans. Mm. Let me see if there's any deer there yet. What the? What? No. I knew it. Today's episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is the security system that experts trust. In fact, US News just named Simply Safe the best home security of 2022. At only $1 per day, Simply Safe protects your whole home around the clock 24 7. They ship the system directly to your door and setup is quick and easy. One thing that I really love about Simply Safe is you can totally customize the system to fit exactly what you need for your home. For example, I just had to order a bunch of extra outdoor cameras to keep an eye on all those creepy mannequins. What? There's never a long-term contract. You can even try it for 60 days risk-free, and if you're not completely satisfied, you can send it back. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, including the all-new wireless outdoor security camera, you'll always know what's going on inside and outside of your home from simply checking the app on your phone. There's a wide variety of devices to choose from so you can set up a custom system to perfectly fit your needs. With their professional monitoring service, Simply Safe will dispatch the police or firefighters in the case of an emergency. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode. Right now you can save 20% when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to learn more. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. It's been a while since we've had a good old-fashioned torture test, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Let me show you what we shall be torturing. This is from Century Arms, and this is a all-American-made AK. It is called the BFT-47, chambered in 762 by 39 A very nice-looking AK at a reasonable price. They're actually asking for it. They sent this to me and told me to torture test it. Can you believe that, pigeon? They wanted me to actually do my worst. So we're gonna do a, basically just a standard military torture test to make sure that this thing works well. But first, we gotta get a little flare on it. I've actually never painted an AK-47, so we're gonna do a little demo ranch touch-up to make this thing super beautiful and tactical. She's a beaut. This is actually the first gun I've ever spray painted. Turned out pretty good. You can see we got some uh, some cedar limbs on there to make it look fancy. Now, uh, since we just painted it, the first test is to see if it, you know, just fires normally. Let's see. 762 by 39. Now plink some targets up here. Let's go at the uh, Texas Star. Oh, that was me. My bad, that was me. Let's do some long range. 100 yards. This is a fine shooting AK. We got less than 10 rounds. I'm just gonna mag dump. See if I can run it too fast so it jams. All good. Century Arms, of course, made an AK that works, but now let's do a little Demolition Ranch torture testing. Actually, first, we should lube it up so it's got a fair shake. The Century Arms BFT-47. Like I said, all American made. We're just gonna open her up, look at her. They built this gun to be super tough, and uh, they said in their testing they threw everything at it but the kitchen sink, and it kept on going. So that's why they were confident enough to send it to us 
to try out. So, I mean, just, yeah, it's American made stamped receiver AK. Uh, so we're just gonna put lube in a few, you know, good places because we want this thing to, you know, have a, a fair torture test. So we actually have our own new, brand new proprietary lube. It's Demolition Ranch Gun Lube. Um, it's pretty cool. You can use it on your salads or your guns. I, I wanted a product I could do both with. So like when I'm cleaning a gun, but I wanna stay healthy, need a little salad, we got you. So we're gonna put this in here. You just kind of apply liberally. So you wanna get it on all your little contact points just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the piston back in here. Oh, actually, we better, better go ahead and lube up that bolt too. I don't want anything, you know, getting in there. So the bolt's nice and lubed. Now with our Demolition Ranch gun lube, and get our spring nice and lubed up here so that there's no friction on our recoil spring. Get that back in just like this. And we'll get our dust cover on. And we are good to go. Let's uh, just see how she fires with the new Demo Ranch lube. Should be great. That was good. It, yeah, it still feels a little dry. Let me put a little more lube on it. We'll try it again. Just needed some more back there to really get those springs in there and all those contact points. This has a bolt hold open on the safety selector there. So we're gonna get some in here too, all up in front and then go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels a lot better. Let's go see how that runs. Clear. We did have one failure. That's not the ranch lube's fault. Um, probably, probably just poor ammo. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking the way this is running so far. Now we will start the military testing. We're gonna do mud. So we have a bucket here full of just the nastiest stuff you can imagine. But we have it lubed up with Demo Ranch lube, so should be fine. So this is a uh, loaded gun. There's not one in the chamber yet, but the chamber. It's closed, we got the safety up, but as you can see, it's gonna still get all up in there. Uh, that was probably, that was probably a little much. Okay, nastiness. Yep, that didn't work. That actually did close, barely. Let's see if it will fire. I don't know if it's all the way closed. I think it is. Yep. That was it. All of them. Okay. Little trouble getting going, but after that, good to go. I would say that is a pass for the mud test because worst case, jammed up front, but we got it running and then it ran fine. So far, so good. Now on to test number two. The next standard military testing is one that we've actually done before on the channel. We did it with some Glocks and it totally screwed up the Glocks, like made them not work. And Glocks, just like AKs, are a very reliable platform. It's the fine glitter test. Now, everyone has been in a situation where you're taking your battle rifle into a place that's full of glitter. And as you guys all know, if you get glitter in your crevices, bad things can happen. But it, you know, it happens. And so we got to make sure that when you get glitter in your crevices, everything still works. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do that right now. This is super fine glitter. We're going to do a little, oh my gosh, it's like blowing away. We're going to do a little sprinkle test here. And then we're gonna see if she runs. All right, let's just, you know what? Let's go hard, right? Oh my gosh, this glitter is gonna be out here forever. All right, there's, that side's done. Okay, guess who's also gonna be covered in glitter after today? Ya yeah, boy! Dang, girl! Look at that beautiful glitter. You can see the ranch and mud coming through right there. It's great, great stuff. Does she fire with glitter? Dang! That's it. Impressive. Oh, there's like this muddy ranch glitter mixture happening right here. As you can see, still very disgusting inside our AK, but still running. Okay, on to test number three. You guys have all seen my manhole before. It's huge and very hard to penetrate, but it can be done. So we're actually going to put my manhole right over here and I'm going to send my AK straight into my manhole. 
this is going to be a 20 foot drop test. Ugh. First, I'm going to bang it on the tree stand. Ugh. We're going to do standard military 20 foot three tiered drop test. This is an empty gun and we are first dropping it directly on the butt and see how it works. That looked pretty solid. I'm pretty confident that did absolutely nothing. Safety looks extra safe. It really got extra safe up there. All right, we're good to go. Let's load it. Well, let's see if it cycles. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Buttstock not cracked. Oh, we actually did. We chipped it a little bit right there. I'm gonna load five rounds in. Look at that mag. <laughs> Some muddy ranch lube. Yeah, good to go. Drop number two. This is the flat drop. Commence. Ejected the mag a little bit. All right, what do we got here? Did we break anything? All looks good. I think our mag latch was gummed up. It's solid. Okay, I'm gonna load it. Five rounds. Clear. Good to go. Drop number three. Coming at ya. This one's a doozy. Unloaded gun. This is gonna make some of y'all cringe, but this is just standard testing, guys. I'm just doing what the scientists want. This is the barrel down drop test. <laughs> that ejected the dust cover. <laughs> First of all, we did break our slant break off. Crazy, but looks actually like it's not in the way of the bore, so it probably will still fire fine. We also took out the spring and the dust cover, but it makes sense if you think about it because with all that force going down like this, it probably made our spring go which also would release the dust cover. So once I put this thing back together, that yeah, looks fine. It should be good to go. Actually, actually feels pretty good. I know you guys are all thinking it like, man, Matt, your manhole is tough. I know. Hard to penetrate. It really is. Okay, five rounds. Dude, fireball got bigger without the slant break somehow. Five rounds. Good to go. That completes test number three, the drop test. Now on to test number four where stuff gets a little bit crazier. Test number four, tied up and ready to get whipped around. case bent in half yeah it's it's bent okay we're also missing a spring and a dust cover but I think that is the least of our issues right now the uh, feature where you can shoot around corners is the, the biggest problem we're gonna have I'm gonna go try to find that spring and dust cover. actually I see a dust cover right there dust cover check spring probably came out after dust cover so it's gonna be this way we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor this episode is sponsored by Demolition Ranch Gun Lube. Is your salad bland and tastes terrible and other salad dressings just aren't cutting it? Is your gun dry and it chafes when you shoot it? Do you wish your gun lube tasted better? With Demolition Ranch Lube, you can lube your gun and eat your salad at the same time. Thanks to Demolition Ranch Lube for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. I looked everywhere, could not find the recoil spring, but we have another spring. But just look at this bend. So it's got a very good bend in it. So I, I went and got a different spring. You can see this one is, has not been caked in ranch lube and mud. The spring does go in, and then this thing does go back and forth with assistance. It that, that bend is really kinking it up in the piston area, but I think it'll fire. So we're not going to do it because that'd be unsafe, but 
Oh, there's a vise right here. <laughs> Let's do it. We're going to put in the vise, clamp her in tight, and hand load. Actually, we might as well just put the whole mag in there so we can see if we can sight. Yeah, this is totally safe, Mayor. No need to watch this video. Go ahead and click off this video right now, Mayor. You guys stay, stay around though. So as you can see, it does go all the way back and all the way forward. And then I think it's going to fire. Let's find out. Both hold open. See, I invented something that all AKs need. Hmm. Yep. Okay, that should fire. Safety off. I'm just gonna duck behind our wall here and pull. Ready? <laughs> Question is, did it load another one? Nope. <laughs> it it jammed hard. You can see our spent case right there. Two more rounds down there, not gonna go in by themselves, but that just loaded another one. So theoretically, after all we did, we are still in the fight. Look at that. Still fighting, still fighting with this gun. Freaking AKs. Just noticed something. I don't know if it was like this before, if the shots just did that, but. These are where your rivets are in your stamped receiver. These are where rivets are supposed to be, and they are gone, which means that this piece of metal is not held to this piece of metal like it should be. We also lost our sight, which is, you know, that's all right. Big dent back here, front cleaner rod thing. I thought it was broken. I think it's actually fine, but the cleaning rod is gone. It ejected our cleaning rod. It opened this up. It ejected our spring. This is not the spring that was on it before. So it ejected our spring and this dust cover, but we still have a functioning AK that is semi-auto and workable. Probably is gonna shoot a little bit to the left, seeing as how it aims a little bit left now, but nothing that you couldn't compensate for. It's like, oh, I see you, hold on. Now I'll get you, yep. Dead in my sights, well dead to the left of my sights. Hope you guys enjoyed our completely scientific military grade testing thanks to century arms for sending this thing out obviously it's a beast and i thought we were going to be hanging this thing up on the wall today but we only hang up guns that are completely destroyed so the problem is we probably won't actually shoot this because it's probably not safe to shoot but it it's not destroyed it is still a firearm Ugh. i'm gonna have to probably keep this one in the gun safe it's gonna get glitter all over everything if there are any other companies who are brave enough to send me a gun for a little demo ranch torture testing i dare you are you as brave as Sentry was to send me their gun? Let me know, because I'd like to shoot your gun. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Military Rights. Let me know if you like these torture test videos. I love you. <laughs> Wait, real quick, before you go, hold on, hold on. We are doing this really cool thing at Bunker. We are doing a March Madness, but for t-shirts. We have made a bunch of t-shirts and you get to pick the winner. So right now go to BunkerBranding.com, click on Demo Madness. There are eight t-shirts that are in head-to-head -head battles. Go put your votes. Once we get down to the final four, they'll be available for sale and you will be entered into a giveaway if you buy one. And the prizes are really cool, especially the first prize, which is we are actually gonna fly you and a friend out to Cletus and Cars in Indianapolis, and it will be awesome. You will get to see the ranch tank do its very first burnout in person. Okay, now you can end the video. Bye! Bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.